first at six, the Tulsa School Board has now passed 15 agenda items that were postponed earlier this week after three board members walked out in frustration. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Day. And I'm Lori Fulbright. That board met during a special meeting this afternoon and voted on a long list of items that the superintendent says will keep the lights on and the buses running. News on Six's Jonathan Cooper joins us live and tells us there were some tense moments in today's meeting as well. Jonathan. Craig and Lori, this meeting is still going on right now, but earlier today, the meeting had to stop for about five minutes as security escorted somebody out. You weren't speaking to I it, so still don't act speaking as on that. No, you weren't speaking to it. I want you it. to stop talking so that I can That's finish. That's not how it works. Three days after three board members walked out of a Tulsa Public School Board meeting, more fireworks as the board met again. Dr. Gist as well, ma'am. Security escorted a woman out, and board member Alina Ashley and board president Stacy Woolley exchanged words over meeting rules. Could I? Take a five minute break, please. The meeting, tense at times, gave the board an opportunity to vote on and discuss 15 agenda items, from technology upgrades to tutoring, that were supposed to be discussed on Monday, but were pushed to today after the walkout. This all comes as TPS faces a state audit after the district discovered at least $20,000 in mismanaged funds. Ashley and board member Dr. Janetta Marshall asked Governor Stitt for the audit and have been critical of what they call the district's lack of financial transparency. When we walk away from the table, it's hard to have discussions, so I was a bit shocked. Today's meeting was full of parents and teachers on both sides, like Shauna Mott Wright, the president of the Tulsa Classroom Teachers Association. We just need to do what's best for kids, period. End of story. Don't care if you're pea green and purple spotted. Don't care where you fall politically. Let's just do what's best for kids. After the agenda items were passed, Superintendent Dr. Deborah Gist told us that they were prepared today with documentation you some board members to wanted say, to see. Uh, that they expect us to work together as adults and to get these things done so that our schools can function effectively. That meeting is supposed to go until 8 o'clock tonight. They're going to go into executive session as well to discuss the resignation of Devin Fletcher. He is the chief equity and talent officer who was at the center of that missing money controversy. Reporting live in Tulsa, Jonathan Cooper, Oklahoma Zone News on 6.